Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I will show you how to create a message card using the iPad. It was Mother's Day last week, on May 10th, and I was planning to upload this tutorial video on that day, but I couldn't make it, and it's been a little while, but today I want to show you how to make a message card for Mother's Day. Other than Mother's Day, you could also write a message card for someone's birthday or wedding or anniversary with some cute illustration like this. And I'm sure anyone who get this kind of card will be very happy. So if you want to write a message card but you don't have a paper or a pen, please try and use your iPad to do that. Today I will use Procreate and show you how to make this message card. Alright, let's start. From the plus button, start by setting the screen size canvas. In case you want a specific size of the canvas, set it from the plus button before you start. It's going to be kind of a demonstration today, so I'll just set a screen size to start writing. The very first thing to do is to set the background color gray. To change the background color, tap this layer button, tap the background color option at the bottom, and set it slightly gray like this. Next, select this layer 1, and here we'll be working on the base, the white part, or the center of the message card shows you earlier. Grab white color, and throw in the bucket like this on the screen. This way, everything will be filled in white color. Now, select the arrow button on the upper left, then you can change the size of the area filled with white just now. And this will be the base we'll be writing. So select the size, though I don't think it should be too big. Set the position in the center like this. Then tap the R button, and we should be all set. Next, we are going to draw some flowers from here. So from the plus button, keep adding new layers. We'll be adding more and more layers here, and it's totally fine to add as many layers you want later. But what I want you to do first is to make sure to put the base layer create at the beginning, which will be the white layer in this case, at the very top. So you should have the white layer at the very top, and then blank layers below. From here, we'll be drawing pink and blue flowers on these blank layers. I want to draw one here to show you an example. Try drawing flowers from the edge of the white part created earlier to each corner like this. Since we want the root of it to be kind of hidden underneath the white card here, hide the root and color the leaves like this. When coloring, just throw the coloring from the bucket like this. This way you can color quickly, so just like this, keep coloring flowers. In case you want to see the root as you find it difficult to work on flowers not seeing it, tap the little N right next to the white layer here. There is this thing called opacity level below here, so set it lower, and this way you can see the leaves at the back. And this should make it easier for you to draw. Next we will try and make this flower slightly transparent. This is one of the highlights of this video, and we will use eraser to make it transparent. The eraser brush will use this time, as the eraser is selected, and here is why we choose the brush for the eraser. But select this one called Noise Brush. Using this brush, lightly trace only the center part of this flower. This way, as you can see, we have these white sparkles on the screen, and the color gets erased partially. So the tips of the leaves are fading with some white sparkles. So just like this, keep erasing the tips of the leaves with the eraser brush. Make sure not to do it too much though, as everything will be gone. So make sure to leave some parts. Once it's finished, duplicate this flower layer. To do so, swipe left and tap the duplicate button, and now the same layer is added above here. Select the arrow button so that you can move a layer like this. So move it to wherever you want, and there are options to flip horizontally and vertically as well as to rotate in a circle like this. We could change the size too. 
Just like this, duplicate the same layer of the flower layer again and again. It may be difficult for you to see right now, but if you look at the part that's overlapping here, because some parts were erased earlier, it looks kind of transparent. If you fill in solid color, the same color overlaps each other, making it difficult to see. But since we erased some parts using the noise brush earlier, the point that's overlapping looks pretty good right now. So in the same way, from now you could select a different layer and write, or duplicate the layers with the earlier, and keep adding the same flower. But I think it might look bland and a bit boring if you have the same kind of flowers here and there. So I suggest selecting a different layer and adding a new flower. This may take some time, but I'm sure the card will look more interesting this way. Okay, now the pink flowers on the right are complete. Here we have three different layers like this. We'll be grouping them, but to group, swipe these three layers right and tap group at the upper right, and they'll form a group all together. Now we'll duplicate this group and bring it to the bottom left. Swipe this group left, tap the duplicate button, and the same group is at the above here, like this. So now select the arrow button, and tap flip horizontally and flip vertically. This way the same flower design can be placed here at the bottom left. This grouping function can come in really handy once you remember how to do it, since as you group and duplicate over and over, you'd have a bunch of flowers on the canvas instantly. So this will definitely save your time too. So please remember how to group layers. Once we are done drawing the pink flowers, next we'll be drawing blue flowers. Add a new layer from the plus button and grab the blue color to start drawing. I forgot to mention earlier, but when drawing flowers, there is a draft pen in the brush category, so please use that one. It can be found I think in the inking box, so use a draft pen in the inking box to work on this flower. Same as earlier, first draw the outline, throw in the color bucket, and fill in. I wish they made it easier to fill in as it's a bit of a hassle doing it like this. I wish I could just tap them to fill in color, but we have to throw it in like this in Procreate. So do that, and once that's finished, grab an eraser brush, the noise brush. This can be found in the touch-up box, and erase in a way that only the tips of this flower become kind of transparent. So just like this, keep the process of adding a new layer, drawing blue flower there, and erasing using the eraser brush. So I'm going to fast forward a bit from here. Okay, once you're done with the flowers, it should look like this. Make sure to group the layers at last. Once it's grouped, right now we have four groups here. 
we have a blue group here at the top, then the pink one in the second. Now, even though we set the background gray in color in the beginning, we are going to change it to white. So the background should be white. The base or the white card should be white too. We also lower the opacity level earlier, but bring it back to 100% again. We want to add a sort of drop shadow here, so select the layer at the very bottom or create one. Here, grab gray color and folder brush, grab a soft brush in the airbrush. Then, lightly color over here to add some shadow in the back. This helps give the canvas a sense of perspective having this car in front and these flowers behind it and then the background at the very back. So like this, having drop shadow makes the car look more three-dimensional. At last, we'll be adding final touches. We want to give it a little bit of a twist. Add a new layer at the top from the plus button and we'll be creating a sort of an outline with gold leaf. Grab a monoline brush in the calligraphy section, grab a black color, and start drawing a straight line. When drawing a straight line, draw the line and just touch it with your left finger to draw a perfectly straight line like this. Remember to draw a line and touch it with your left finger. Just like this, we can create a rectangle frame or the outline. If you find a part sticking out like here, just use an eraser and erase it. The noise brush is selected from earlier, but you could use a different brush such as a studio pen to erase any part that sticks out. As you select the arrow button, you can change the position as much as you want later. So set it in the center, keeping the ratio of left and right, top and bottom even. Now we'll be turning the outline gold. The easy way to do this is to have a gold image saved in your camera roll ahead, then open your camera roll on a slide over on the right, then long press the image, and throw it into Procreate. This way the image can be displayed on top like this. So here we have a gold layer at the very top, and then this outline below that. So tap the gold layer, and there's an option that says Clipping Mask. So select it. And now the gold color is applied only to the outline layer, as you can see. So this is a Clipping Mask function. Using this function, the image or design can be applied only to the part you want to apply to. And with this card with a gold frame, we now have a stylish card, don't you think? By adding this gold frame, it takes the design to the next level, making it look more gorgeous and feminine. So those ladies, please give it a try as well. Once we've done these, the base is complete. We have many layers here, but select all and group them. Now everything is grouped, which can be shown or hidden from here. So create this base first, and then all you have to do is create a new layer from the plus button to right. Since today's theme is a message card for Mother's Day, I'll write a message for my mother, but it could be a birthday card, a wedding card, or a baby shower card, so what you want to write it for is up to you. I've read about this news lately saying that because of corona, flower shops have been damaged drastically. As we have to stay home and we can't really go shopping. And that's why they have a stack of flowers left in their shops. I feel so sad that they have these withering flowers. So even though May 10th has passed already, they say every day is Mother's Day this month. So please write a message card, and if possible, go visit your local flower shop, or if you can't, which I assume most of us can't, please order them online or something, and send them to your mother. I'm thinking of sending flowers to my mother too, as I don't usually do something like this, but I'll try and see how it goes. Alright, it's complete. What do you think? It looks pretty cute, I think. 
We've used layers a lot today, but what we did was pretty simple, repeating the process of writing and erasing. Anyone can do this, so even though it may take some time, please give it a try. This Procreate data, or the original data I used today, will be posted in my online community, iPadMate. So those who are members, please use it to see or view the layers. In my iPadMe community, I run an online seminar every week. I do a tutorial teaching my members how to make use of the iPad, normally for an hour or so. So if you are interested in learning more about the use of the iPad or doing something creative, please check it out. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!